Welcome to Lab 34, configuring interface based port address translation or PAT. There's a couple of ways of doing PAT actually. Some people call it NAT overload as well. It means the same thing really. Have a look through the topology and all the tasks. And we'll go through to the configuration part. Obviously done some configuration on this router already. Show run, you can see I've got IP addresses and IP and that inside and outside. Just need to, I've, I'm on the previous lab here. So what I'm going to do is just wipe off the access list. I presume you'll be doing the same unless you're reloading your router and starting off from a blank configuration every time. So what I'll just do is find my NAT config and access list config. Go to config mode, type no and then paste in the, the other bit of config that I don't want. Something strange happened there. This is a bit of config that I want to wipe off though. Handy command to know, clear, clear IP NAT translation, space, asterisk. If your NAT pool is in use, you're going to need to issue that command, which clears out the pool. Show run will show you what's left of the config. I've left the IP addresses on and the IP and that inside and outside. I'll just configure my access list and permit ICMP statement, permit TCP statement. Share IP access list to see what we have. Access list 140. I put that inside source list 140. Then our interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 overload. So the overload statement is what we append to our NAT config in order to uh, create PAT, port address translation. I'm just going to tell net to 192.168.254.1 
obviously you need to permit telnet. to show IP NAT translations. Now you don't get the same output unfortunately with Packet Tracer. You can see the port numbers here appended but you get a far better result when you're using GNS3 or your own home devices. It's just a little bit of limitation. So if you've got a different output to me don't worry too much. Show up your NAT statistics. That's the end of the lab. Thanks for watching.